Yo, 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 what is going on today, guys? It's your boy, Nix Gaming, back once again today, and we are bringing you another stream do-it-yourself video. Well, in this video, guys, we're going to be discussing Athenoscope, which is an online tool used to create or used to collect clips and highlights from your live streams. We're going to get into exactly what it is and exactly how to use it in just a second here, guys. But if you are new to the stream do-it-yourself series, here we're trying to save you guys as much time and money as possible as you guys start up your streaming careers and if you guys are in the market to buy a new pc consider using evolve gaming and using our discount code which is nix at checkout to help support our channel here if you want to discuss this topic or other topics further feel free to hop on into my twitch chat which is nix official and now guys, without any further ado, let's jump on in and learn exactly what Athenoscope is and how to use it. Alright guys, so before we actually jump on into how to use the program, and we're not going to dive too deep into Athenoscope, but more just showing you guys that it exists. We want to explain to you why it's important to collect clips, and that is you have already released footage. You have already recorded that footage, why not? have it in those moments that happen for you to save those moments well athenoscope can do that automatically for you guys all it does is when you finish your live stream it starts watching it and it collects all your moments and clips and highlights and whatnot and saves them for you for you to view later so it's very helpful if let's say i finished my live stream at 3 a.m and i just wanted to go to bed I could then just go to bed. I don't have to worry about going through and collecting those moments for my YouTube video the next day. You should already be releasing content on other platforms and trying to bring people over your Twitch and Mixer. That's the easiest way to grow. Numerous, numerous of people have said that. I have said it and I will continue saying it. It is the easiest way to grow. So why not make it easy on yourself and have some footage already stored? So guys, let's actually discuss the whole kind of program and everything here. Basically guys, what we want to do is when we're on the homepage here, up at the top is the showcase, doesn't really matter, our showcase videos, patch notes supported games you can go ahead and check that out but quite a few games are supported mostly popular ones so you may it may not be right for the game you're streaming right now but it may be good if you hop over on a different game later on to get those moments so uh just give it a quick supported games check and see exactly what it records in each of the games for you and also right on the supported games as well, there's a little button for their Discord. You can actually go in there and request a game be added as well. Over on the left hand side is where you guys are going to be clicking most of the time and that is your game sessions. So we'll get into that in one second here, but if we go into our settings, there's two settings you guys are going to want to turn on right away. Those two settings are basically do 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 watermarks on clips you want to turn that off that way if you for those short little clips it will not put a watermark on it for you it's just your bare clip and uh your camera or your overlays that you have not any watermark from athenoscope unfortunately unfortunately with the uh highlights there's no way to turn that off but uh you can move them around based to be out of, let's say you have your webcam in the bottom right hand corner and you want that to be just under your webcam like me, you can change it that way. So it's taking up less room or less important room. The last setting you're gonna wanna turn on is the auto import video. And so I have it turned on for my Twitch and that is when it finishes when your live stream finishes it automatically watches it and tries to get the clips from it automatically without you having to manually import them which is overall why you're probably using twitch so 
or sorry, why you're probably using Athena scope, not Twitch. So now let's actually just take a quick peek at what it can actually do. So obviously there's what I was talking about here with the watermark. It keeps the watermark on the highlights, but as you can see, I don't have a watermark on my clips, which is overall what I normally end up downloading. I don't normally download the whole highlights, just the clips to make my own little videos. Once again, you can also change the filters and stuff and be like, okay, I don't want, right? Oh, I do want that. Let's say I don't want round wins and round starts, right? I can turn it on and there we go. And I could refresh it, which we'll actually do here. And now the ones, as you can see here, are not the ones that we didn't want. And then after, obviously, after you get your clip that you wanted, you can either add it to your videos or later on, if you're like, okay, I'm saving all my pistol kills, you can add them to your videos and download all your pistol kills really easily. You can edit the video, which is just like changing. So let's say you die at the end, you can change it and maneuver it a little bit to be, uh, to not show that you died. You can download it, you can share it right from here to, you can also share it right from here to Twitter. You can delete the clip if you didn't like it, or you can add it to a playlist, which is another way of if you were doing multiple montages or trying to collect like shotgun kills, sniper kills, and pistol kills, or three different games, you can add it to a different playlist and be able to download what you want. All right, guys, if you did like this video, remember to hit that subscribe button Hit that like button, comment, and tell me that you liked this video. Also guys, if you are new around here, consider hopping on over to our Twitch page and discussing this topic or other topics with us further and building that relationship between us. Alright guys, till next time, we'll see ya. Peace.